John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hey there, this is John Alzheimer, consumer credit expert, 30 years of experience in the credit industry, spent time at FICO and Equifax. So today I'm gonna to answer a question. I get this from reporters. Reporters love to write stories about this. What is the right number of credit cards? So there's, look, there's a lot of meat on this bone. There's a lot of different perspectives and attitudes about credit cards. You know, the personal finance experts love to vilify credit cards as if there's some evil extension of credit. And some people like me are actually very much in support of people's choice to use credit cards. Um, but what's the right number? And so look, you can look at this from a variety of perspectives. Number one, usability. If you're a credit card user, you don't ever wanna go somewhere and you hand your credit card to when you're trying to buy something and they say those dreaded words, we don't take that card. Then you have an issue with usability it's not universally accepted, that's a problem. So at the very least, you should have multiple credit cards simply because um, you never ever wanna run into a usability issue, okay? That's less of a problem today than it used to be 10, 15 years ago. You know, sometimes Amex wasn't taken, sometimes Discover wasn't taken. That kind of doesn't exist any longer except for some really rare and limited exceptions. That's number one. Number two is buying power. If you have a credit card, and it's got a you know five thousand dollar credit limit on it. That's great. That's it. I mean that's your that's kind of a cap of your spending capacity. If you want to go out and buy a new refrigerator um, and tires for your car, you're kind of about to max out your credit card, and you can't really use it for much more than that. So I I don't like the idea of limiting the number of credit cards you have simply because of your limiting your own capacity and your ability to to buy things. All right. Um, now here's the real. Here's the real angle I take on this, which is I think you should have as many credit cards as possible, as long as you're responsible with, with using them. If you use credit cards as a supplement to your income and you don't know how to not use your credit card, if you, if you can't afford to make your monthly payment in full each month, then maybe you shouldn't have any credit cards. Maybe you should have prepaid debit cards or just debit cards, uh, which debit and prepaid debit aren't the same thing. So just keep that in mind. Here's one way I'd like for you to kind of mathematically determine what the right number of credit cards is for you. I want you to look at all of your credit card statements for the past year, okay? That'll give you a good, um, statistically valid sample of your credit card spending. I want you to look at your spending over the last year, and I want you to come up with the average amount of your balance for the past 12 months. $5,000, $1,000, it doesn't matter. All, all I want you to do is come up with that figure. And once you come up with that figure, and let's just let's just do let's just say it's five thousand dollars, even though it probably isn't. But I need to have it value because I'm going to do some math here with you. So let's just say that you have an average monthly balance that is about five thousand dollars. All right, we know in FICO and Vantage Scores credit scoring systems that the ratio of that balance to your credit limit is influential to your credit score and optimally like to keep that ratio below 10%. In fact, the FICO high flyers, uh, people who have like 780s and above, have an average ratio of 7%. And advantage score is less than 30. So really, if you're below 10%, you're doing well in both of the scoring platforms. So that's why I always tell people shoot for less than 10%. So if you have an average monthly balance on, on your credit cards of $5,000, in order for that to represent 10% of your credit limit, you have to have, excuse me, you have to have $50,000 worth of credit limits. If that takes three credit cards, then three credit cards is right for you. If that takes six credit cards, then six credit cards is right for you. Um, I almost always like to advise people to kind of err on the side of being safe. So if it were me, I would say, you know what? Why, why play it so close to the margin? If it takes you three credit cards to have a $50,000 limit, you know, get five credit cards and have a sixty dollars or $70,000 limit. And then your average monthly spending is even less than 10%. 
And if you happen to have like an emergency one month where your credit card balance is really spiked because you have to pay for certain things, then the effect on your credit scores isn't going to be that big of a deal because you have kind of credit score insurance built in because of the number of credit cards that you have. So again, there's no fixed number of cards that is universally accepted as being the right number. And by the way, zero is not the right number either. So for you haters, um, having zero credit cards is, is silly. That means you're paying in cash and, and, and you're using very unsafe methods of payment uh, where credit cards are actually really, really safe and have ironclad fraud protections. So that's it from here. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk again soon. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.